Stop! Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this Magpul Maglink. This is something that I've been using for a little over a year now, just messing with it, testing it. And I really like it. I think it's a very nice product. And really there's several situations where this would kind of come in handy. Uh, first off, I could see this coming in handy if you're a police officer. And a lot of police officers nowadays have uh, like an active shooter response kit uh, or something in the, in the trunk of their squad car. You know, whether it be like a, a vest with some rifle plates. Uh, I know at least the cops I've talked to, that's what they have. And so this would be a nice thing to have because it's going to give you just one more magazine, uh, more than what you can just carry in your pouches. And it'll also give you a very quick reload right out of the gate. So, you know, you pull your gun out, stick this in there, you've got two magazines on the gun, and then whatever you have in your loadout. So, it's really nice for that. This could also come in handy as a really nice home defense tool. More and more people nowadays are looking to their AR-15 type rifles as a home defense option. I do it, and I think it's a good idea. There's a, a lot of merit to the 2 to 3 round. It actually has a lot less penetration than most handgun rounds, which when you're concerned about over-penetration is a good idea. And uh, so normally what I have riding in this mag link is actually two Generation 2 P-Mags. And uh, so these are the ones I, I usually have in there. Got them loaded up with some Hornady V-Max. That's a, a pretty nice round if you're really concerned about over-penetration. So I usually have it loaded up with those. That means I got 60 rounds right out of the gate. I can just pick this up, throw it in the gun, and I'm good to go. And really, for home defense, 60 rounds is probably <laughs> more than enough. I mean, if you, if you can't get it done with 60 rounds, you probably need to move to a better neighborhood. So a very nice home defense option. Just pick it up pick the gun up, and you're good to go. Uh, so, it's made really well. It's basically made out of the same material that the standard P-Mags are. Extremely durable. It really locks onto the, uh, the magazines very well, holds them very securely. Uh, just with those two screws, it actually does come with some blue Loctite on them, right out of the box. So, it, it locks on very securely. Now, I think I mentioned, it really was kind of designed for the Generation 2 P-Mags. Uh, I went out to the range today and I was messing around with it and it turns out that it actually is pretty versatile. You can actually fit the Gen 3 P-Mags in there. Works just fine. No issues whatsoever. And it'll actually fit the Pro-Mag magazine. Now this Pro-Mag is a pretty blatant copy off of the, uh, the P-Mag and it's actually close enough <clears throat> dimensionally that it fits in there just fine. Very solid and uh, works no problem. So uh, price-wise, you're looking probably around seventeen to eighteen dollars for this mag link. Honestly, you know I think that's maybe just a little bit high. I mean, you're paying what, like twelve, thirteen bucks for a P mag. I think if the mag link costs twelve, thirteen bucks, that'd be a fair price. Uh, so you know I'm not going to go buy a ton of these, but uh, I definitely think it's worth having at least one if you're looking at your AR as a home defense option. Uh, so. You know, I'd, I'd pay it. I don't think that it's uh, that it's outrageously priced or anything. So if you have any questions about this at all, feel free to leave that down in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help you guys with this stuff. If you like what you saw in the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the little like button and subscribe to the channel. I have more videos coming. Everyone have a nice day, and thanks for watching.